All right, so I'm back from NAB, or I got back about a week and a half ago or so. I actually posted up a couple interviews already, so if you guys haven't seen those, about a couple other products that I saw at NAB. In this one, I'm talking about a little bit about Aperture as well as DD microphones in this video, um, only because, uh, I th and I do want to talk about Aperture a little bit more before I just kind of have them showcase some of their new products that they released at NAB. And that's just uh, the way, you know, Aperture and DD have kind of reimagined, you know, uh, marketing and how they're working with social media influencers. Now, I'm sure if you guys don't follow some of the other like bigger name influencers, uh, you know they've they've definitely made their mark as far as um, building a brand and a name within that this space. Uh, but what I like about it is that it's not just a regular product that they're kind of pushing out there for people to review and just try to get some really really you know affordable advertising. They actually take back their comments, all their feedback from all of the professional lighting and sound people, as well as the influencers on how we're using these products. They take all that stuff back, and Ted will even talk about it in his video. And they really want to reimagine the equipment. So, I mean, sound and lighting has been around for forever, but really no one has disrupted the space, I think, the way Aperture has. Uh, and what's nice about it is that because they're a little bit smaller of a company, they're able to kind of pivot and make some of these changes and bring a lot of these wish list items that people have always wanted in some of the existing brands, but those brands are just too big to eat, to, to kind of just make the change. Aperture's a little bit smaller for now uh, that they're able to make these changes that a lot of people have requested. And that's one of the things I like about them is that they're willing to make these changes, bring in some of the latest technology into their platform, into their equipment, as well as, you know, build a community around their products. So I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to be invited to NAB's kind of after dinner where they're, uh, where you're also around a lot of other YouTubers and social media people. They don't just bring in filmmakers, they bring in a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds as well as uh, some, some people have no subscribers or some people have a million subscribers. So um, they're not really specific on the person just because of your number. They're really specific around the, the, the people that they're bringing in as well as the community that they're trying to provide. And I think that's a big difference. And I think a lot of companies nowadays should kind of look into that model because it's very easy that, like myself, I, I do product reviews. I get sent a bunch of stuff. And these companies that send you products that are, you know, probably cost them $2, $5 to make, expect a 10-minute video it's just not realistic. Uh, the the trade-off isn't really realistic. Even with Aperture, even though I haven't produced an Aperture-related or individual product from them, I'm still using my lights from a year and a half ago, and I haven't, I've never gotten anything new from Aperture, but at the same time, they still want my feedback. They want to be able to include me in some of the community events. And I think that's what makes them a little bit different is that they're more about building that community and feedback than it is just about, hey, here's a new product, toss it over to a product reviewer and try to get some, you know, some some marketing out of it at, at a lower cost. And DD is the same way. I actually saw them recently on Twitter back another influencer up because another sound company was talking down to that influencer saying that you're you're not a real YouTuber because of your numbers. And I think his numbers were like at 10 or 15,000 subscribers. But for a company to go on social media and say that you're not a real, you know, product reviewer or YouTuber, and to have a company like Deity come in and say, hey, big or small, we'd love to hear your feedback, um, kind of speaks volumes about the company and about the people that are running it and where they want to go and how they want to position themselves. Uh, you'd be surprised how many emails we get and how many things that we, in a way, have to turn down because you could kind of tell the intent behind the email and the intent behind um, the person that's sending it as far as what they really want out of it, and a lot of times it is, they send, they want you to you know review one of their twenty dollar products that they sell for two hundred, and uh, they expect to have a dedicated video and links to everything. And, and don't get me wrong, there's going to be videos you might have to do that stuff because you are either sponsored or uh, you know for some other other reason you're doing it for the brand that you have to say and have specific things in here. More likely you should be disclaiming those things. Uh, but I just wanted to give a shout out to them before I let Ted talk about their new products as well as Didi talk about their new products that they released at NAB. And that's just, you know, the way they've approached it. And I really wish and I hope that other people watch this video that have brands or products out there and kind of look at how they're marketing it and understand that it's more about the build behind the, it's more about, it's more about the people behind who's building it and, and the reasons why. 
um, that really kind of come through in the product. Because at the end of the day, they know that they're building a high-end product, both on the lighting and the sound side. The product will speak for itself. Uh, so they're not worried about that. They're not worried about what you're gonna have to say about it because they know that they're releasing quality products out there. And hopefully a lot more people will start doing that and, and not just try to, you know, use the platform to, you know, kind of just get your name out even though the product might not really meet a lot of people's standards. So that was about it. Just wanna to talk to a little bit more about them. And of course, here's, uh, you know, Aperture and DD just talking about some of the new products. And also because of the fact that I interviewed Aperture on day one. They actually released three to four new products on day three. I don't have that in this video. I'll make sure uh, Curtis Judd, who I met here at an Aperture event, uh, I'll make sure his video is linked down below. He talks a little bit more in detail about some of the newer products that I wasn't able to capture. So make sure you guys check out those links down below in the video description. What is going on guys? Teddy with the A-Team. Today we're talking about the new 300D Mark II. Super excited about this light. Uh, first thing first, if you post comments online, if you post feedback, you're going to see a lot of that in this light right now. So I'm excited to show you guys that we are listening. We're trying to see all that. We screenshot your comments and we try to build them into the next rendition. So first thing first, 300D Mark II is 20% brighter than the previous model. So I don't like tungsten or HMI equivalents, but if you need one for me, I'll say it's approximately a 575 watt HMI. Incredibly, incredibly bright single source LED with a Bowens mount so I can modify it with the softbox, beauty dish, really anything that I need on there. On the back here, this right here is a new male to female port, which what does that mean? That means that I can now take any XLR cable and extend the actual distance between my controller box and my light. This will also have a 7.5 meter long cable so I can leave my controller box on the floor, rig my light up across on a menace arm or a goal post, not a problem. Handbrake style yoke, which means I can actually spin this light a full 360. If I take this off, you can see that this actually clears the light now. Little details that people asked us for. In addition to that, the actual controller box and the ballast have now been combined. I'm going to snap this off. Bang. This right here is your new controller box and your ballast combined into one. And this is actually smaller than the previous controller box because before the controller box had two batteries here. Now we're doing one battery on the side, one battery on the side. This is it. There's no fans, all passive cooling right here on the top. This is wireless control. This is app control. I can actually control this not only from my phone, but also a physical remote. So I can power the light on, off, dim it, anything I need. On the bottom here, I've got my six meter long Nutrik locking cable. So this cable will run me six meters from the wall to my controller box, from my controller box to my light. I have 7.5 meters. You don't need cables anymore. You don't really need a lot of these stingers. This should be able to do the job. In addition to that, I've also got the ability to dim under 10%. I can now dim under 10, take it all the way down to one. I've also got my power readout here. So this will actually measure the batteries here and tell you how much time you have to the minute with your light on current settings. Finally, also, I've also got, if I click this button, hold it down, I now have built-in lighting effects. So things like strobe, things like explosions, things like paparazzi, things like fireworks. All these are now built in animated into the light so my light can actually cut between different intensities. 300D Mark II, this is right here. Now as far as mounting goes, if I want to mount my controller box, we've added feet. So you can actually just mount it, bang, put it on the table, no problem. Paracord, paracord is actually rated up to about 1,500 pounds, very, very heavy, lightweight. This can string onto anything. Finally, three, if I want to mount it onto somewhere else, I've also got a super clamp that will ship with a light. I can take this super clamp, pop it in really easily, bring this in, and voila, pops in, no problem. Finally, one thing I want to talk about that I think a lot of people don't talk about are cases. And the reason I'm so excited about this case is that, one, it looks like a soft case. It's lightweight, feels like a soft case, but something special is going on. I can actually sit on this. This is an empty case, no problem. Oh, what's that? I can still sit on this case, no problem. So, what's exciting about this is that it's not only soft material, but on the inside of this, we've actually got a hard plate fabric that will not bend, that will not break, and on the bottom here, we actually have knife-proof fabric. So you can see, I actually literally took a knife to it yesterday. You can see there's a couple scratch marks, but no tears or anything like that in addition to that. So of course, we ship all this included in the same kit. 
and I'm sure we try to keep everything all together anyways in the first place. Um, this is the 300D Mark II, shipping in two months. Price, not set yet, but we think it's gonna be about $1,299. So trying to keep it as affordable as possible. Compared to an HMI, it's about half the price, about a third the price. Thank you for watching this video, and in the next video, I'll talk about the other accessories like the lantern, the spotlight, and the RGB that we also have coming out as well. There are also a couple of secret releases that I can't talk about right now. Come Wednesday, third day of NAB, I'll be able to talk about that a little bit more. But thank you for watching this video. I'm Ted, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey everyone, we just want to introduce you guys to Dady Microphones. We're a new kind of microphone company from Glendary, California. And at the end of the day, uh, we've been pretty busy all day. So we just want to give you guys a sneak peek at our booth. Right now, I've got three new lavaliers that are coming out here at NAB. We've got the W Lav, uh, which just got recently retooled. We have now have a metal housing. We now have the W Lav Pro, which is waterproof IP rated 57. Very similar to a lot of smartphones on the market. Short of swimming with this microphone, this microphone does not care about water. We also have the WLOV Micro, three millimeters by seven millimeters. This thing is utterly tiny and it is amazing. It also uses the exact same capsules, uh, so it should sound pretty similar when you cut them together and post. What we've also got, of course, is our transmitters. They are coming out next Tuesday. These things are shipping uh, here on the channel. I think you guys already got a sneak peek, so you guys already kind of know what those are all about. But I want to show you guys some even more stuff that we announced here at NAB. We've also got a headset microphone right here, as you can see. This headset microphone is tan and kind of a tan beige kind of finish so it really kind of blends in for a lot of people and it's completely adjustable to the ears as you can see we kind of can scale that up make it bigger make it smaller kind of a basic concept i mean it's a heads up mic it's not exactly sexy but at the end of the day if it's not done right it will not fit you some other stuff we're showing here at the show that probably never before seen today we didn't even announce this or leak this on the internet is the s-mic 2s this is a 3.1 ounce shotgun microphone it's crazy crazy lightweight so if you are a boom operator out there having to keep your arms away your head boom all day kind of keep that nice positions all those nice positions uh, this is gonna be a microphone that is gonna be just rock solid for you you're gonna forget that it's on your pole and yet still sounds just as good as the big guy the S mic 2 so what we did was came up with a microphone that was lighter shorter better for indoor work and not necessarily as heavy at the end of the day uh, this little pencil mic is a new concept we've got coming out. Uh, we've got a cardioid capsule on top of this. We also have an Omni capsule right here. And we're currently developing a hypercardioid capsule. So this will probably be coming out uh, in the fall, late summer, possibly. This is coming out about mid-summer. So if you guys have any questions about our microphones, don't forget to go to deitymic.com and always check us out on Facebook, on YouTube. And don't forget to fight, follow, subscribe to this video right now. If you're not hitting the notification bell on Flight Path, you aren't getting all the videos that he's posting and you really should get them all.